What is up everybody? Thanks for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. Super pumped about today's episode because I have right here in front of me the brand spanking new Gamo Swarm Magnum 10X Gen 3i brake barrel gas piston pellet rifle. Now that's a mouthful, but it's absolutely worth saying and it's worth shooting too. If you guys are familiar with the old model, you'll see that some of the familiar awesome traits that Gamo throws at us are coming back at you again. The Gen 3i still has the IGT Mach 1 inert gas technology piston. We've still got on the end of the barrel here the noise dampening whisper fusion system. Uh, this bad boy comes with the two-stage adjustable custom action trigger and they're advertising that at uh, around three pounds, uh, 2.6 and three pounds, which is great if that is true. Um, I have not cracked this open yet to feel the trigger or to look at anything. I wanted to do that on film here with you guys, but we'll play with the trigger and all that here shortly. Uh, the, the Gen 3i still offers the recoil reduction rail. We've got automotive grade glass field nylon all weather thumb hole stock. We're used to that from the previous model. Got the non slip design. The package deal comes with the Gamo shock proof and fog proof scope. Got the shockwave absorber recoil pad on the back, just like the old model. And this one, as far as uh, technical specs, it's coming in at about 6.88 pounds. You got an overall length of 49.2 inches, 15 inch length of pull. And the cocking system on this one, just like the old one, is still pretty rough. Uh, I guess that's subjective. Some people think it's tough. Some people don't think it's so tough. But it is 41 pounds of cocking effort to get this bad boy broken. And uh, also standard with Gamo is their beautiful five-year warranty. Now before we break into this, I wanted to read directly to you the statement that I found that Gamo had put out in regard to what exactly is new about the Swarm Magnum 10X Gen 3i. And it's all about the inertia-driven system. Alright, so the company says that this improves the Swarm system so the 3i is an improvement to the swarm system with smoother and more precise breech loading resulting in tack driving accuracy. Gamo also says that the new inertia driven magazine eliminates any possibility of double loading the rifle. So a lot of the upgrade or the upgrade of this one is all in the breech loading system and in the inertia driven magazine system. So. That's the specs. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got. Pretty straightforward little package here. You've got your 3 to 9 by 40 Gamo shockproof and fogproof scope. Uh, some people uh, hate it. I did not have any problems with it. You know, we've got hundreds of rounds through the other one in the, uh, the Swarm Magnum 22 that I've done tons of videos on, and that scope is still working just fine. So I do plan on putting this Gamo scope on this Gamo air rifle. And then of course you've also got the rifle itself, the magazine, an Allen wrench, and your user manual. And through the magic of movie editing, here we are 10 minutes later that it took me to get the plastic off of all of this crap. I do notice right off that the complimentary front sight that was on the previous Gamo that uh, I've done so many reviews on is now gone. I, personally, I felt like that was a waste. Uh, never used it, didn't plan on using it. I prefer a scope on most of my rifles, so maybe that doesn't meet everybody's need. Certainly okay with me. I am alright with just slapping the scope right on here and rolling with it. As we mentioned before, some of the features that we're used to, the recoil reducing rail, thumb hole stock, uh, the pad and all that. I'm gonna play with the trigger here in a second, but uh, I do notice that the system here on the front, as they mentioned, looks different. Uh, I can't say that the magazine itself looks tremendously different, probably just a little bit, but uh, let's see how it feels clipping it in there. I mean, the, the functionality of that as it clips in is, is much the same as the old. So, uh, you know, we'll have to see what that feels like once we get the scope on and take some shots, which I'm certainly going to do that in this video. They are still advertising this one at uh, 1,650 feet per second, which was the same advertisement as the original Gen 3. 
But uh, I want to point out that you can see in the small print on that advertisement that's that's with alloy pellets. That's with really light alloy pellets. So you cannot expect that kind of speed with your regular lead pellets that you're going to be shooting are just not going to shoot that fast. But uh, my, I, I do recall on the 22 that I did the reviews on previously, we were getting, um, you know, probably around the 900, 1000 range. So uh, with a 17, I'm sure that we'll come in a little bit higher than that. I will do some future reviews uh, putting this thing in the chronograph and, and we'll see. But uh, what I want to do now, I want to go ahead and I want to play with the trigger just a little. They have included your Allen wrench to be able to do that. And I'm going to mount my scope. We'll get, it, we'll get this thing sighted in and we'll talk just a little bit more about it after I sight it in. Alright, I've got my scope mounted. I did lighten the trigger, but I've not messed with it yet. I've got everything loaded up and we're ready here. So uh, I'm going to do all this in real time and talk you through it. Just let you know how I think everything feels, if it feels any different than uh, what the older model did. All right, I've got the lead sled set up. Let's go ahead and rack one in and uh, see what we got. Really smooth. Can't say that that felt much different than the old Gamo Swarm Magnum. Um, I did want to mention that I, I, I do believe as I was feeding those pellets into the magazine, that they went in a whole lot smoother than I recall that working on the previous Gen 3. So I do believe that the feeding of the pellets into the magazine was smoother. Let's go ahead and take a shot here. I did go ahead and uh, use the provided Allen wrench and I pulled the adjustment out. I actually pulled the screw out uh, flush with the outside of the trigger. So I've probably taken it about as far as you would want to take it or be able to take it. Let's take a shot here and uh, see how it feels. Literally my first shot with this bad boy. So the trigger felt the trigger felt really good. I I wish uh, you know that that other gamo was always a borrowed gamo, so I don't have it here sitting beside of me. But the trigger felt really really good, and we weren't terribly far off actually. I've only got to come down an inch and over an inch, so that's not bad at all. And I'm shooting it at 20 yards here to sight it in. Well, let's just go ahead and do a five-shot group. That was one shot. I'll hold the same point of aim. I'll put the camera on the target out here now and let you guys see how we do with the five-shot group. So that was just uh, shooting these hollow points, these premier hollow points. The first first five shots that this gun has ever taken, and that was a really nice little group. Very pleased with the trigger pull. Everything fed real well. Obviously, I didn't have any problems with that. Um, I'm a fan of the Gamo Red Fires, so I'll probably uh, sight it in with the Red Fires, and let's try a little more. Let's try a little more distance. Back this thing up and uh, and see how it performs after I get it sighted in. I've slightly modified my location. I'm going to zero this in now with the red fires at exactly 25 yards. Use my range finder to confirm. Once I get it zeroed at 25, we'll back her on up to 50 and see how she does. Dang, that was dead, dead center. Perfect. It's looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and let you guys watch this group take place. 25 yards, let me get the camera on it. Excellent little group. Well, that was an excellent little group right there at 25 yards with those red fires. So I'm leaving it right there. I really like that. I can take a squirrel's head off with that easy. Let's go ahead and back it up to 50 yards and see how the red fires will do at 50 yards. Disclaimer before I even start shooting. It's starting to get dark. 
this would be one of those applications where an illuminated reticle would be nice. I don't have one, so I'm going to do the best I can. But let's take five shots with the red fires here at 50 yards. Well, as you guys can see, it is getting freaking dark out here, but I was still really pleased with that, even though I couldn't half see where I was aiming. I've got, I, I actually thought, I thought I dry fired one shot. I thought I lost count, and of course I couldn't see whether I was hitting anything or not. I didn't, so I've actually got six shots on paper. I was aiming as best I could for the very center of this diamond. And I've got one, two, three, four shots right here within one inch, an inch and a half of each other. So right here, uh, there's four shots in this area. Two of these I could cover. I'm covering them right now with my thumb. Now two of the other shots are right here. Uh, those are still within one, two inches of my aiming point. So uh, that's basically a one, two, three... For about a four inch, four and a half inch group at 50 yards uh, without being able to see where I was aiming. <laughs> so, uh, so far, I really like my new Gamo Swarm Gen 3i 17 cal. Lots more videos to come with this, guys. I'm going to do some testing with this in the freaking daytime out to 100 yards. I've got some car doors that's been provided to me by Leonard Automotive. I'm going to do some penetration tests. I got some Hornets, a bunch of other ammo. I'm going to do some penetration tests on. I'm going to do on that on the metal. I got some glass uh, through the door glass on those I'm going to try out. Of course, I'm going to have some squirrel hunts and things like that. And it's deer season. For any of you guys who've been watching my other videos, I'm going to get a deer down and we're going to do some penetration tests on a deer head with this thing. So lots of awesome videos coming up with this new Gamo. I hope you guys enjoyed the demo this evening. As you can see, that's all the time that I've got for today. Lots more videos with this bad boy to come though. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Love to have you a part of the Hunt Shoot Live team. Check out our playlists. Got all kinds of videos, lots of other videos, hunts, Gamo stuff, product reviews. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time. God bless you.